Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So for this last redraw this challenge, I wanted to show you two sketchbooks, so I sped it up just a little bit. Now the thing about these two sketchbooks are they are my first sketchbooks where I decided I was gonna just keep drawing Disney to go ahead and achieve that Disney style. So, oh, I love that one. Ah, oh, good always wins because the heroes, and I love that little Kermie. And there's Kylan and Ivy, and there's my friends and Ty. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about this fast. That was Harry Styles. Thank you, 2,000 followers. Oh, I like that. And look at Mary Poppins. This is a thing where I encourage everybody, if you have, if you are an artist, and you go to a lot of Walt Disney World or Disneyland trips, it's a lot of fun to make your own doodles and then have the character sign them because, oh, it's a lot of fun. So I really do suggest that. That Ariel's body was way out of proportion. <laughs> Aw, this sad. What is wrong with Wendy's face? Oh my goodness. Oh, look at, these are like the first sketches. I really like that. These are the first sketches I've ever actually have fully done of Disney and coloring and you can see I I'm just starting off as coloring all these coloring pages that you see the actual doodles that are colored are all done in Prismacolor pencils what is going on with his leg oh that looks wrong <laughs> oh Peter and Jane no thank you Elliot oh that was from the O2L at Playlist Live that I went to and that is the all going to girl holding hands. It's fine by me if you never So that first sketchbook was actually done throughout my whole first Disney college program, which was done at Walt Disney World. And then this was the following semester at college. So both of these are me as a college student, freshman, sophomore, I think. And then this is the one that I did after I came back home from my Disney college program. And what's interesting about this one is this is my very first Inktober drawing sketchbook you will, I ever tried. I've never, I had never done Inktober until this year. And this was year 2013. Oh, they're tiny. Little boyfriend, girlfriend, tiny. Oh, that's so cute. And here we go. That was my first Inktober submission. That was my third. That was not one of them. There's another one. And then that didn't count. It's just October. And there's another Inktober. And there was just, here's another Inktober as well. Um, oh, this is when I was doing my Josh Groban poster contest. Oh, there's another Inktober. And that was done from some idiot. And then here's another Inktober. And that's when Robbie was Peter Pan. And once upon a time. And there's another Inktober. Ah! Oh, my first Inktober was so much fun because I did whatever I wanted. <laughs> but yes, so those are the first two sketchbooks like where I decided that I'm going to hunker down and draw the Disney style until I somehow absorb that style and get a style of my own. So I chose this one of my original character, Ivy, just because I think it's really beautiful and I love drawing Ivy. She is my longest running actual original character that I've ever had. Do you just ever have that one original character that you keep developing over and over and over and over and over? And that's the thing. There was one time that this one little girl said to me, I have changed my style again. And she shows me her sketchbook and it's the same character. And it's not that her style's changing. It's just that she keeps recreating her character. And I don't want to say this to her face because she just doesn't take criticism. Well, do any of us. <laughs> As artists, I mean, honestly, do any of us take any criticism at all? But anyways, I have recreated Ivy over and over and over again. And finally, what you had saw on that original sketch of her with the bottle surrounding her of take what you need, it's just that I finally settled on that sketch. And so I recreated her just a little bit more. And when I say recreate, her body and her actual facial features and her, her actual features like her hair and her skin and her wings, they have not changed. The only thing I had been recreating was her outfit. So <laughs> I'm not really recreating her, my character more and more. 
My style does develop within the year, so I try to draw her every year, or I mean, I draw Ivy all the time, to be honest. I draw Ivy with Prince Kylan, which happens to be her boyfriend slash husband into the future, and it's an interesting story. It's a really interesting story, but <laughs> and it's all in my head. No, I gotta write it down so I don't forget it. <laughs> so I do remember why I drew this particular doodle in my sketchbook so long ago. It was because I had seen a post of a bunch of bottles on a table and it, they were all labeled and it did say, take what you need. Uh, so that wasn't my original idea. And the actual original, like the original sayings on the bottles, I kind of switched it up a little bit, um, for, were on the actual doodle where it was time, friends, love, a dream come true. And so I switched up just the labels a little bit on this particular drawing just because I felt like it. <laughs> but it is, it's really interesting. I, I That little doodle, not the doodle, but the photograph of the bottles really spoke to me because Sometimes we all have that one wish where we wish we could have a, one more thing of either if we could have more friends or more freedom or dreams or courage or love or success. So I just switched it up a little bit, but I really do wish I would have left time because we always need a lot of time. So uh, hey, leave in the comments down below, which bottle would you take from? I mean, Ivy's got dreams and there's courage and then there's love and freedom, success, and then I forgot what the other one I can't say at the moment. But which one would you take from? Which bottle would you take if one bottle could have like, if you could take one gulp of it, kind of like Alice in Wonderland, which one would you take to it's all a wish almost like I wish I had more time I wish I had love I wish I had more friends I mean which I guess we could call this wishful bottles almost I don't know but which one would you take I like this is where it gets hard because you can only take one so which one would you take leave in the comments down below um I think that I would I'm looking I'm gonna go ahead and say that maybe dreams stand for a dream come true so let maybe that's the one that's why I had Ivy picking it up because ultimately Ivy is me because it is based off of me because I told you guys it's like a full circle right now I told you guys I was obsessed with fairies and you saw that I was obsessed with the element fairies so I wanted to be a fairy growing up that's why Ivy is a fairy why she's green I have no idea I hate going outside no I'm kidding <laughs> but I think that since Ivy is practically me, when I look at dreams, I do think that a dr one dream come true would definitely work. But it's just picking what dream would I pick to come true. But I'm really interested to see what bottle you guys would take from. Ah, I should have left time. I'm just really regretting it. <laughs> I really should have put time on one of the bottles. Just one more. But I really do like how these bottles came out because they're kind of see-through and they kind of look magical in a way. And I really wanted them to look weird because they've got weird things in them. I think this would be such a cool interior design kind of concept too. Just to have a bunch of random bottles and have them label like, and then have a little sign that says, take what you want. Ah, it, it's just a really awesome idea. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this entire series. I've had a lot of fun with this. It's great going back and looking at the memories and going, oh, I remember this because sketchbooks are like diaries for me. And I love going back and looking and seeing where I am and what I'm going through. And I'm just like, now I remember why I drew this. But yes, guys, I always encourage you to draw in a sketchbook, grab a sketchbook, never throw your art away because someday you might be like me and you might decide that, oh, I want to redraw this because this is a lot of fun. But I really hope you guys have a most wonderful day. Bye!